TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we probably won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, if you missed the live and you want to rewind and fast forward and catch the previous lives or the future lives, just go to twitch.com. Type in, you see it down there. I do got Ty on cams. He sent, he made me some of these. I'm going to go implement them. <laughs> put them on here. We'll make it look more professional since I finally figured out how to put it on there. Don't forget, we do got merch and we got Patreon Monday through Friday. Uh, link down in the description. This is Kitchen Nightmare Season 1, Episode 20. Let's get it. Dramatic. St. Clair Shores, Michigan, a summer resort community about 40 minutes from Detroit. Located on prime real estate is Jack's, a lakeside restaurant recently acquired by three bodybuilders, Bill, Scott, and Tamar. You can see the, the problems already, man. Hopefully they're all natural. So then got these roid anger issues. Let's do it, Scott. I met Bill and Scott at the gym. Easy, get it? We all work out together and hang out together. All of us are partners in the restaurant. Jax is known for having great entertainment, being the resort style place to come to. It's like girls gone wild across the whole lake. Winter time, there isn't much going on. Jax has had a reputation for bad food. I don't think I'd order again. And so that's really, in my opinion, that's what killed us. We really got to fix this. We brought AJ in to run the kitchen. Here's the ribeyes. AJ is Tamar's father. No, that's your table. That's your kebab. I don't see the fish and chips, man. No, you don't understand. We put all this trust in him. Oh, never mind. And the kitchen has completely fallen apart. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. So we put him in the front of the house to act as the general manager, just so we don't have to fire him, because that is my partner's father. Can I help you with something? Absolutely, I'm firing him. 100%. I don't care if that's your partner's father. He knows what got to be done. You go fire him. You brought him in. I'll be talking to the customers, flirting with the ladies, and asking about the food in between. I'm going to go get myself a drink. On a business level, I can't stand a man. Every night during hours, he gets wasted. He gets so drunk. Bring it on. <laughs> Uzo is my favorite drink. I like to drink Uzo. And we are going to have music tonight. His teeth look like these. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> My bad. And we are gonna have music tonight. To me, it's not professional. <laughs> it's a nice life. I like it. <laughs> Get him on, take him out and beat him. Scott is dangerous. He can hurt you if he wants to hurt you. People are terrified of him. No, no, no. One minute late. I'm telling you to see. Started getting calls from customers saying he scares everybody away. So Tamara and I had to make a decision to remove him from the restaurant. Unbelievable. He's a silent partner now. I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. Total mess. We got Aaron in to replace my father in the kitchen. I'm looking for 53 calamari. Let's go. I had only been here seven weeks, and the whole ball of wax was uh, was was messed up. I'm smelling fire. I knew there had to be some changes, but I wasn't going to be allowed to make them because the owner's really happy with the menu. It's just unfortunate that we have to take money from other avenues to. The owners just said the food quality went down, so how are they happy with the menu? It doesn't even make sense. Try to make the place survive. I'm the one that has the most investment. I have almost a half a million dollars invested. If we're about to lose this business, I can't recover. Scott feels that we are running the business into the ground and he's losing all of his money. We owe Fairway $11,000. I mean, we owe back sales taxes. We owe back payroll taxes. When you start getting to owing the government money, then you know, that's an issue. If things don't change, I don't know how to make the place survive.
taking advantage of the frozen lake, Gordon snowmobiles his way to Jack's. I'm glad he back being adventurous, adventurous on the pull-ups. Like it, for a minute, it got like he was just getting a ride on the train. Like I don't want to see that. Let me see Gordon pull up. You feel me? Wow, absolutely amazing. This restaurant is centrally located at the heart of five great lakes, but they're in trouble. I don't know why, and I'm about to find out. Unbelievable. Jacks. Wow, what a place. Welcome to Jacks. Hey, nice to see you. Nice to have you. Gordon. Come on in. I'm actually not nervous, but I hope he loves the food, of course. Um, AJ, so you're the owner? No. But Scott is here and Bill oh, are here, yes. And Scott is the bouncer? No. Why don't you stand in there looking oh, for a fight? <laughs> Come over. Is that the way you stand in there? How you doing, my man? How are you doing? Good, good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> are you in training or what? I've been training huh? 24 years of my life. It's extraordinary. Are they real or...? <laughs> They're very soft. Yeah? <laughs> so, um, you're the owner? I'm one of the owners. Oh, uh, his son is another owner. Okay. okay. He'll be in the same Okay, good. Okay. And there's one yeah. more somewhere. Jeez. Nice to meet you. Huh? Another uh, gym rat. Extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. You step out. After meeting two owners and a general manager, Gordon decides to talk to each of them individually so that they can be totally honest about the problems at Jack's. Now, what kind of hours are you putting in? 65 a week. And Scott put 65 in? No. We had to move him out of the restaurant of Peak. was scaring my employees. Holy shit. Why was Scott pushed out? Because he's lost a ton of customers because of the things that he did. We got complaints, complaints, and complaints. Why would you scare customers away? I, you know, I'm not sure. Maybe because I was intense, you know? But I want to be more involved. What's the problem with the restaurant? We have terrible food. What's the problem with the restaurant? I personally don't see a problem with the business. It's really good. It's OK. Um, what's the problem with the restaurants? AJ. What's he drinking in the bar? You know, he drinks ouzo all the time. He just turned around and drank a quick shot. That's what he does. He makes some $100,000 a year. 100 grand? Yes. Ridiculous. I would have fired him. I mean, oh, my God. Three individuals, three completely different stories. I haven't even tasted the food yet. Where'd you start? Oh, my God. OK. Here we go. Hmm. Right. Nice Erica. to see you, darling. Erica. It's really important for me to see as much as possible. I would try this omelet here. It oh, crab spool. just split with a K. It yeah. looks like crap. Yeah. That's like <laughs> a crab omelet. <laughs> I hope not. OK, I'll definitely take one of the Crusty crab. This is the chum bucket. What are we going to go on? The uh, K omelet. Okay. Then I'm going to go after that for the uh, honey pecan salmon. Okay. And then um, mm. good old fashioned fish and chips. Oh, good. Yeah? Thanks, darling. Excellent. You just sat there and staring at me. Like some big muscle head meatball. <laughs> Fuck me. Aaron. What? He's intimidating. Why do you spell with your crab with a K on the crab? Because it's not real, it's mock crab meat. I didn't want anybody to get the misconception. It's artificial. That's a guarantee, no complaints on this. Guaranteed? That's a pretty bold statement. Excellent. Thank you, my darling. Wow, look at the size of that. That's a lot of crap. And you haven't told me about the K yet. Oh, he said he wanted everybody to know that it wasn't real crab, it's artificial crab. So he spelled it with a K so there was no misconception. So it's fake crab meat mm -hmm. in a seafood restaurant that makes on sense. the water. Mm -hmm. The reasoning makes sense, but like. Oh, fuck me. Holy crap. Rubber, tasteless. That's going straight to the trash. Okay. Oh, my God. Why <laughs> he put the tomato on top to seal it back? What's wrong? He hated it. Why? The fake crab was the number one reason. The omelet didn't go over well. No. He doesn't like the crab in there. I, I've never... Uh, that was already here. I didn't buy that stuff. I don't want to use frozen fish. It's not a product that I'm absolutely overly proud of. But at the same point, I'm held accountable for all the inventory that the owners have paid for. How was the food so far? Why are we serving fake crab in an omelet? I don't. He did that. You're the general manager. All right, what are you talking about, Alfie? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I give the choice. Have you been drinking? No. 
The crab was shocking, embarrassing, and fake. It tasted disgusting. Have you tasted that crab? No, I'm extremely allergic to crab and shrimp, so no, I can't even eat no it. There's no crab in there. I what is it made of? Oh, my god. I'll let you finish your meal. General manager, my ass. I'm being blamed. He thinks that I should be allowing him to do that. Or letting him letting serve him. those types of Correct. dishes? Because it's fake crab. AJ is the general manager. He's supposed to oversee the food. And now I'm hoping and praying that Gordon says AJ is the one that's bleeding his business. OK, fish and chips. Suddenly the best looking. Dude, it is super intense, like hovering the entire time. It's crazy. Something I've seen? Really rubbery. Is it frozen, the fish? I believe it's frozen. It is frozen. When you take a bite of that cod, it's almost like you've got a breaded condom in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was rubbery, uh, too greasy, and it just said it tasted like a frozen cod, and obviously he hit it right on the button. So. This is the same recipe that we've used here forever, so I am for change. I want the change. Good. Wow. This one is the salmon. salmon. Gosh. Where's the salmon? Thank you, sweet. Oh, okay. Damn. I think just so sweet. The dressing is like honey, and so much of it. Absolutely disgusting. Quite possibly one of the worst salmon dishes I've ever eaten. Me hated the taco. I like it? No. I didn't like anything. The one of the worst season. Like, okay, what? So did did the American version come first, or did the UK version of this show come first? Because that means Broden ran through a, a, a bunch of salmon and then came to yours and labeled it the worst? A man's opinion. It's a pretty successful opinion, though. <laughs> Fuck. Right. Whoa. After one of the worst meals he's ever had. This is Chef Aaron. Aaron. Chef Ramsey, how are you doing? Gordon begins to explore how this perfectly situated seafood restaurant can serve such dreadful food. That was horrendous. Why are you serving fake crab meat? It's inventory that we have. Have you tasted that? It's plain. There's nothing to it. It's just disgusting plastic. It's exactly what it is. The salmon dish. That was shit at its best. Sweet on sweet on sweet on sweet. That's actually one of the top sellers. For That's app. why the place has got such a shit reputation for crap food. It's still not clear who's in charge of the food. He's in charge of the food. It's not true. I have no control. I felt like guys being thrown under the bus. Yeah, no way. All the recipes and the things that he didn't enjoy or things that were set in place before I even got here. Who's controlling the fucking menu? The owners are. Scott, Just the is that what you wanted here? Not, not at all. I don't have nothing to do with food. What? Yes. AJ. Who does the food? I want answers. There are certain things that are not under my Sorry, control. You're the general manager. I tried not to have it go on, but I get overruled. AJ. He dropped. He has many excuses and never wants to own up to his faults. <laughs> it's terrible. AJ, it's got to be your responsibility. No, no. Coming up. Okay. Yes. This is Gordon knows the best. With no one taking responsibility for any of the problems. I feel a prestige level of negativity coming on. Gordon knows the best way to get any answers is to observe tonight's dinner service. True. Okay, how'd you like that cut? All right, it's our first order. We got tables. Tamara, how you doing, brother? After working a full day at his other job. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Tamara, the restaurant's third partner, arrives. Let me ask you straight out, what do you think is wrong with the restaurant? The food's like hit and mess, it's inconsistent. Yeah, and forget the father figure now, but isn't AJ responsible for the food and beverage in terms of running the restaurant and the kitchen? Yes. And every time I asked AJ to what was going on, he was blaming the owners. I do have the most difficult position being here. I'm working with my friends and my father, who is my family, and that makes everything very difficult. It's, it's a bad combination, man. It's a real bad combination. Because you do, it's like a thin line to walk on. Like, you don't know what they like. Everybody's walking on glass. They don't want to disrespect anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, but... Bro got half a million dollars into this. Ain't no, hey, listen, I ain't no friendship. We are not friends until you, <laughs> until my money is back in my pocket. Then we can kick it. You know what I mean? Until then, we we are business partners. I'm gonna have a look around. Okay. Spend time in the kitchen, the dining room. Chef, 
It's good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, finally. This rice has issues. Take this out and at least try to stir it up or something. You brought it up here. Yeah. Well, I got to move it. There's not enough depth in our kitchen. Yeah, I got a big chunk here, too. What the fuck, man? They've been set in their ways. I don't know that they want to conform to a change. Do we have any rice yet? Nope. I threw it out. Oh, my God. With a clear... As he should, as a chef. It's not up to your standards. Throw it out. Make a new one. I don't, I'm not mad at that. Your lack of support in the kitchen. I'm fucked here. Aaron has yet to send out the first wave of orders. She said it's on the way. So it's Christmas. <laughs> They don't have any food. Well, because we come in 15 minutes, I'll see. 15 minutes, we're leaving. All right. Here's a big blue filet up top. 45 minutes into the dinner service, and food is finally beginning to leave the kitchen. Food look decently plated, though. Don't mean it's good, but it look look is. Keep it going. 64 calamari. I'll take it any time. As the dishes get rushed to the dining room. Customers are receiving food Damn. that's not exactly the way they ordered it. We gotta send this back. What's wrong with that? It's supposed to be uh, well done in the career. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, well done steak's the easiest steak in the world to cook. It's not that good. It's a little chewy to me. Ribeye, we need this medium on the fly. It was overcooked. There where the cheese is. She said, it, she said it's terrible. I, she didn't like it. We need a chicken alfredo on the fly. We hate that. Okay. He wants this under the heat for it. We're weeded here, dude. We're weeded here. Right I've never seen frozen food so fucking complicated. Unbelievable. An absolute meltdown. Not just for the kitchen, but the dining room as well. Just under 20 dishes have come back. And more frustratingly, it's frozen food. They can't even cook that right. Unbelievable. I can cook frozen food, Gordon. You know what I'm saying? If they need help, he should just restart this show again. Where'd your dad go? I don't know. <laughs> he was having a cigarette? <laughs> yeah. Oh, AJ's gonna have to get back up. Where is he? AJ is a general manager here now, and he needs to be overseeing the restaurant. <laughs> We won't probably be coming back here. The food was raw. It was raw. It we'll, we're here. gonna take care of this, and then, you know, please come back because it's only gonna get better. I don't know. Now just big, drop it. Buy him around on me. Okay. So much money lost. You guys, I'm getting, I'm giving away every damn meal that I have tonight. Everything I'm giving away, free. Honestly, God, the last hour, everything we gave away is free. Oh my God, can it get any worse? I'm watching food get thrown away in the garbage can. That's my money going out the window. It's just a disappointment I let it go on this long. Lennar has a hot select. Yeah, man. Somebody got to take order, man. Somebody got to take charge. Nobody really wants to be blamed. That's why. Like, I love a lot of these situations. It'd be so deep into the negativity, into the, into the red that nobody wants to take the lead to try to flip it around because they're just going to get blamed for everything. You know what I'm saying? But hey, at the end of the day, when you got half a millions involved in this, hey, <laughs> you got to do something. That's why I won't open a restaurant anyway, man. It's too easy for, to fail. After a chaotic dinner service with numerous dishes coming back and comped food, Gordon confronts the owners with an important question that has yet to be answered. Who has the final say at Jack's? We haven't come to an agreement on that. We've only been in the business for one year. AJ, he's been in the business for 40 years, and we were relying on that to drive us to where we needed to be, and he has let us down. That's the truth, Point that's the what it is. Right. So, that's a tough spot for you. Yes. My dad has made many mistakes here, but my partners need to step up and understand he's my father, and that makes everything very difficult. You have to separate the father-son. Nothing to do with business. You have to let go. That's the first and foremost crucial thing in this fucking restaurant. Understandable. I think AJ is the main reasons why this business is extremely in a hole, and he's still taking his damn check every damn week. We AJ, you're the one that makes all the money, not us, you know? Yeah, how many hours do I work to eat, Scott? That doesn't matter. I put the money up, not for you to lose it. 
I put it up because AJ was supposed to be a 40-year restaurant. Let me say something. I booked eight parties, big parties, by thousands of dollars, and that's the thankfulness I get from this man. He's acting like a child. You know, be a man, face up. Story after story after story after story, I'm so sick of it. I'm pissed. <laughs> So I brought in two parties for thousands of dollars, and this is the thing. So I get, what did, I'm, a, I'm a half a million in the hole. What that gonna do? With so much food coming back last night, that's not normal in any restaurant. So I decided to get in early this morning, have a good look around before any member of the staff come in. That is salmon. That's just marinated in. It's like. An Italian dressing. Oh, dear. What's this? Oh. Seafood restaurant on the water. Tuna and dyed pink to make it look authentic. Look at it. My god. Unbelievable. And here we have, that looks like the mushroom risotto. Great risotto. Unbelievable. Y'all got Dairy Queen in the UK? You know how they do the frozen blizzard, then they flip the blizzards upside down? That's what that just reminded me of. That's fuck, that's hilarious. Huh? Alarmed by the state of the kitchen, Gordon is anxious to take the staff on a tour. Good morning. There's something I want to show you guys, yeah? Come with me. Come in. The general hygiene in this fridge is a fucking joke. All right, come round. Walking round, want to get up to speed, looking at the ingredients, checking. is that? Is that just taken from the steam table and dumped on the trolley and then whisked yes, in here? That's exactly what it is. That should be straight in the trash. The general hygiene in this fridge is a fucking joke. All right, come round. Walking round, want to get up to speed, looking at the ingredients, checking. What is that? Is that just taken from the steam table and dumped on the trolley and then whisked yes, in here? That's exactly what, what is it this? is. That should be. Straight That's what we hummus? Hey, I ate here yesterday. Yeah. I'm not happy. Whoever's responsible, 40 years in the business, well experienced, you have to seriously start opening your eyes. This place is not right here. We got no chance. I did not know that was going on. Item after item. Oh, I was pissed. What's this here? I believe it's beef tubs. Beef bits in blood. That's nasty. I need some answers, AJ. It's pretty terrible, and uh, you know a lot of it lies on AJ. There's no excuse for it. And that's the that's the classic of the day. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a risotto. Take a good look. Unfortunately, it's not a drawing. That's real serious shit at its best. It's a joke. Look at the fucking color of the chicken, AJ. Hey, they be killing me how they be trying to look shocked. So y'all telling me y'all been here 365 days, never walked into this walk-in freezer to check food out. But y'all invested a half a million dollars. Like, come on, bro. Get it together. You're lying. Come on, look at it. Yeah, no, you've got to see it, AJ. I do see it. My father doesn't want to deal with the back of the house. The back of the house is falling apart. That's my frustration. I'm sorry, but it's not right. It's got to be somebody's responsibility. I'm not gonna take responsibility. It's the owner's fault. Why would I blame myself for that? I'm not gonna blame him for that. Unbelievable. Trusting my dad. Time to fire him. Obviously not working. Look at where all our money is gone. I'm really oh, mad right now. They can't go on like this. Get everyone together. We're gonna just get everything cleaned up. Start I'm telling you, bro. Five. Like y'all told me, y'all wouldn't cry about. <laughs> hey, if I put five hundred thousand dollars in something. That's a, you know, that's a half a ticket. Like, cut it out. You, like, you'd be mad to the point of tears. Like, every, like, come on now. Scrubbing walls, cleaning all the stoves, getting rid of all that food in there. Whatever's dirty, garbage. While the staff and owners clean the kitchen, Chef Ramsey meets with local fishermen. How are you? Pleasure meeting you. To see what Jax is not taking advantage of just outside its doors. Fresh fish. The ice is what, a foot deep? Uh, the ice is actually about nine inches. Look the size of that tiny little rod. Yeah, I'll try it a couple and times. That, you that, might get um, something that, on there. That, that attracts them, my God. Yeah, if you feel something, then you pull it up. 
Perch, I mean, very tasty. Oh, very yeah. tasty. Do you yes. ever get into jacks to yes. eat? Oh, yes, I do. What's the food like in there? I don't like their fish so much because they use a little bit too much sauces and kind of lose the actual flavor of the yeah. real fish, you know? Yeah. You got something on there? I think you no. got a fish. Pull it, pull it, pull it's it up. It's not real it's fish. On oh, yeah, there you go. You got one. Very good, very good. Very good. It's just nasty. It is nasty. And I've had people tell me, when I eat at your restaurant, I get sick, and I start laughing, thinking, oh, they're just full of shit. They're not. They do get sick. Gross. This is fucked up. Oh, my god. God, look at them, eh? Not a bad catch today. Fantastic. Now, I'm going to um, turn this into a, a really nice chowder, OK? And once you guys are finished, you going to come over and have a bowl? Absolutely. Yeah? Hey, yeah. thank you very much. Get those Pleasure. bloody hands warm. Yeah. See you later. After an informative... Bro just have a whole fox on his head? Like face, nose, eyes and everything? Pleasure. Bloody hands warm. See you later. Finish. You gonna come over and have a bowl? Absolutely. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Get those Pleasure. bloody hands warm. See you right. later. You warm? After an informative afternoon with the locals, Chef Ramsay introduces the first of many changes designed to get Jax back on track. You and you and I are going to go make a chowder, yeah. and I'm going to serve it in a bread basket. Something simple, finished, fresh local caught fish. Let's go. Up. I'm pretty excited to prepare this food. I, I think that this, some of these changes are going to be what does it for us. Man, it's such a Bacon, onions, celery, yeah, with a touch of Tabasco. Oh my gosh, I'm standing here next to you. Fresh ingredients just looks better. It looks more appealing, appealing even before it's cooked. It's Chef good. Ramsay, he's showing me food that he likes and he thinks will work. You better take advantage of it. That's all I can think of. Bang, a really nice chowder. Yeah. Then I'm going to do a little poached salmon. As well. Nice bread bowl. Well, wow. so salmon in, three or four minutes in there. The whole thing has to ooze fresh. Out of the cold bouillon. Your broth, over. Two easy dishes to make the pressure less on the line. I'm excited. Yeah, I hope you are. With the special set, Gordon decides to implement one other change to the dinner service. Scott, you said you want to be more involved. Tonight, run a section. Present the menu, welcome them, hand over, take the order, push the specials, and serve. Scott is going to get beat up really bad tonight. I'd like to laugh at him a little bit. He's going to be running your Ooh. section tonight. Give him your apron. Yeah, I think we've got enough string to go around. And, um, <laughs> yeah, prove that you're not some scary monster that wants to beat the crap out of everybody. Does that large egg have a smile or not? Sure. Yeah. Give us one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> OK. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Push the specials. Excite them. Don't scare them. Uh-oh. Okay. With customers starting to arrive, How are you? Good. Scott is embracing being a waiter. The kitchen seems ready with the new specials. Now I'll keep my eye in the window and communicate with you. And everyone seems ready to make tonight's service a success. I believe we have balsamic or vinegar. I would, I would prefer balsamic if, if we, If I don't have, you know, bear with me. I, I, if we don't have balsamic, is raspberry OK? OK. How's he doing? He's doing good. He's doing good. Yeah. I'm watching. He's doing great, actually. Why is his head all tilted like that? I don't know what did what happened. Yeah. I have everything right off for you guys. Thank you. Roly poly. Like a chimpanzee hanging over a cage looking for some bananas. Oh, like. Come on. Eh? Give us some oomph there, yeah? Oomph, mm. yeah? Mm. It's a half hour into dinner service, and the new fresh seafood specials are a popular choice. I'm going to have a poached salmon. Fish chowder and seafood chowder. As the tickets pile in. Three special salmon and a chowder. The challenge now is getting the food. My friend used to pay. Calling him a chimpanzee is crazy. I... On national TV at one point was tough. Out. God, I need those special salmon. Bulo. Special what? I'd call for stuff, and they'd be not listening to my organization and what I wanted to have come up to the hot plate. One piece of salmon. Did you season that with salt, like I said? Oh, shit. Need it? I need it yesterday. Get it done. Not one table came out of this kitchen completed yet. Come on. It's so frustrating looking at the cook. I'm not going to lie, he needs new sauce chefs. These dudes are not even trying. Behind the line because they don't actually give a damn. <laughs> so Aaron's got his work cut out, and you can't work with that dead wood. No chance. With Aaron's orders falling on deaf ears. I'm dying. Somebody back there eating, look. No chance. With Aaron's orders falling on. 
Deaf ears. Bro back here eating. Like, come on. I'm dying, dying for those Alfredos. Very little food has left the kitchen. Wait, where's our food? We've been waiting. 45 minutes to an hour for our food. Shaking. That's I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. Okay, calm down. Calm down. It's going to be okay. Look, you guys, it didn't say cheese on the ticket. I can't have cheese on the burger. What are we going to do? we got to fix this. I don't know nothing. Well, they're waiting forever for this food. Be honest, I, I don't know. He should be the first one to go. He's like, I don't know that. Get out. That's time they start showing the guy a little bit of respect. Because they're not. So, that one guy is just rude to him. I need a new bun for this kid burger, please. <laughs> Anton, give me a new bun on now. Aaron. And look at me. He's got to do it. Yeah. You can't mop up for them. Can we run that? Come right back for that kid burger, please. The place is going down in flames. The tickets are backed up. Nothing's coming out. It turned into a total disaster. Oh, my God. Hey, no, it's the kitchen. This is the kitchen staff. And it's not the chef. It's all the sauce chefs or whatever they call it. Like not one of them are trying. Nobody is applying themselves. An hour into dinner service, virtually no food has left the kitchen. Oh my God. And Aaron, who's only been working at the restaurant for a matter of weeks. Just toast me a croissant. I need it yesterday. I don't know what that is. Now faces. You don't know what a croissant is? The prospect of running the kitchen alone. Why do my items take so long? It's too much of a head fuck here. <laughs> I want to talk to you about it okay. seriously to get it fucking right. And each and every one of you have to step up to the mark. This restaurant hasn't got long to go unless we change. We're changing, with or without you. So do as the chef says and listen, OK? It was good that Chef Ramsey came in and he kicked them between the legs and made said, hey, get your shit together and get out. You got 84 coming my way, right, grill fry? Yeah. OK. Get burger, no cheese. Finally. Uh, you can't come into work and be lazy. <laughs> Okay, special salmon, pinko perch, up top, 84 up top. Good. Food is finally coming out of the kitchen. Oh, Thank you. Oh, Look at that. Oh. And Scott is finally getting comfortable as a waiter. Can I get not anything out of your way, guys? Although diners are enjoying the new seafood specials. Bless How's the fresh perch? Great. Yes. Fantastic. Nice. The rest of the menu is a disaster. I need this a little bit more. I need this really good. That's not made well. The, 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 the complaint's got to go straight back to the kitchen. Whoever's cooking the shrimp's overcooking it. They've got to know before service. If we tell them after, the next dish is going to be overcooked as well. It could be done straight away. OK. Yeah? The customer can wait. AJ? When they're in a crunch in the kitchen, AJ sometimes gets confused. AJ? AJ? Who's AJ confused, drunk. Calling me. Of course, we laugh because he waddles away, but at the end of the day, it's really not funny. The kitchen needs to know first, my friend. <laughs> then they stop fucking overcooking it. That's your job. We got a complaint on the shrimp. Aaron, listen! Aaron. Listen! We got a complaint on the shrimp. There was poorly cooked food. Or it was undercooked food, or they weren't happy with the food. We lost it. We lost control. Is that ready? This is not ready. No. This is not ready. Come on, big boy! Sick of this shit. Going down. <laughs> Bro, go to work talking about I'm sick of this. Get go home then. What do you expect when you go to work? Like I don't, I don't even know to be understanding some of now, quicker than the Titanic. They get better service at a shelter than they do here. What the fuck, dude? Where's the honey? I, I don't know. Everything was screwed up. Give it to me again without all the grease in the bottom. Food got screwed up. Oh, I need the whole sandwich remade. I'm pissed off. With um, there's no saving it with this staff. The staff is bad. Yet another meltdown in the kitchen. Chef Ramsay knows drastic changes are needed. Aaron, there's no one behind there that respects you enough as the head chef, and you need to stamp your authority on that kitchen. I mean, a joke. It is a joke. You're not an asswipe for your staff. They're there to support you. And I'm more fucked off with you, AJ, because you pass it to him. If this was my restaurant, your salary would be cut by 50%. Half your salary can benefit crucial areas that need supporting right now. That's a big thing. He is the motivation for me being here. So cutting my dad's salary, that's not a, a simple thing to do. And I'm not a heartless, cold-hearted person. Tomorrow, there's going to be major... Well, well, let's buy you out, then.
changes. We're relaunching this place. And I am going to have them crammed in here like fucking sardines. Coming up to the... Ready for the relaunch. Up on Kitchen Nightmares. In order to be ready for the relaunch, Gordon's team works all night to make Jack's a more inviting seafood restaurant. Now, all night we've been working, yeah? Ready. We've made some really nice, exciting, subtle changes. It's beautiful. Ready. Let's go. Let's go. Up. I'll check it out. <laughs> Very cool. It's awesome. This is sweet. Uh, not me trying to figure out what's different. <laughs> okay, then it bannered some flags up, put a fish tank. Something. That's the Which love. I can't believe you've never had in here. I know. Yeah. I gotta see the like the before. Right? Kids, <laughs> yes. A wonderful fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of the boys in the ceiling? Those are great. Huh? So great. Oh, okay. so simple of a core. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at the metal. We've got the oh, wow. oh, okay. lime with that corrugated iron. So it just modernizes it up, freshens it up. That wood looks bill. so nice. Oh. And no more faded wood. I hated those walls. That does look nice. Nice little fresh fish tanks on the wall, yes? Oh, there's a little fish in there. We've got the little fish tanks. Now, who's going to take responsibility to feed all of these fish? Along the wall as well, just so when you sat in those booths, you can have some fun. That is great. I was like, wow. Especially because I thought the only answer to this place was a bulldozer. It's incredible how he took something so simple and made it so warm and inviting. It's, it's great. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm not it's nice you. Okay. Now, yeah. you're probably wondering why the rope is on the table, yes? This is the new menu, yes? Wow. Yeah, and on the back of the menu, How did yeah, I know? you can have some fun with the knots. That is yes? so cool. OK, here you give go. the kitchen a touch of time when we get backed up. How fun. Yes? That's awesome. That's so awesome. cool. Chef Ramsey took it real simple. He took a nautical theme we had, and he ran with it, and some simple, nice, light touches, and it's great. I love what he did here. It's warm. It feels friendly. I love it. Thank you. That's why he's the best. The business, now that right? the decor has been freshened up, Gordon introduces the most critical change for this restaurant, a new menu. Fresh mussels, crab cakes, fresh oysters, the fish tacos, yeah? Nice. Like post salmon, exactly like last night, fresh, delicious. I'm glad the whole menu's gone. I thought that menu was crap when I got here. Now that it's gone, I'm pretty excited to prepare this food. My favorites, yeah, fish and chips, yeah, with homemade tartar sauce. You now can stand proudly and announce that Jack's has the best fish and chips in Michigan, OK? The menu is incredible. I'm excited to actually be a part of this new restaurant and Hitchin where it's needed. Big night. They We're really be making the Midwest look terrible. This is like the third episode in a row. We're launching Jack's tonight, and we're starting afresh. People are going to come back to this place and finally enjoy coming back to Jack's again. OK? We're ready. Don't fuck it up, yes? Let's go. Let's go. Are you and I in With the relaunch night upon them, Jack's not only has a new menu to contend with, but a winter storm as well. Cold. This is crazy. It's a winter storm, but it hasn't stopped anybody from coming, and these cars are backed up nearly half a mile. Now, Jack is back, and if this doesn't work on relaunch night, I'll take that rope and hang all three of them over the side. Unbelievable. Fuck me, it's cold. All right, they open this up. Nice, I like that. Is this going to keep kids entertained? I know. This, too, you, know, you can tie. You can play. That's something that I like. The, uh, everybody loves the new remodeling we did, so they're having a lot of fun. I did a figure eight. I mean, I have uh, the cleaning diapers. I'll have the herbal stitches. Turn it up now. Yes, sir. Turn it up now, yeah? Yes, sir. There's no room for error. I'm the chef. I need to control my brigade. How much? I want my chicken wing. Answer my question. I'm going to do my best to be the strongest chef that I can be here. All right, this has got to go. The steak dish. It's really good. Yeah, chicken is like the best about That's good. That's This is a good sign. Food is out. This is good. With customers clearly excited about the new Jacks, the restaurant fills to capacity, and the kitchen faces a monumental test. OK. Sell me a fish taco. You hear me? Fish taco, how long? Let's go. OK, I can't talk with nobody listening. Come on, guys, answer him, please. Fish taco. 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 Fuck, I'm dying on grill fry here, man. 
with Aaron still fighting to get his staff on board. All right, so sorry, there's a little bit of a hold up in there. Customers who ordered fried food are getting restless. They know there's a new look, right? Yeah. Now we're waiting for the food. Well, bear with us. It takes a couple minutes for the food, please. How's uh, Chef Aaron doing? Under massive stress. You know what I'm saying? People getting tired of tying them ropes. <laughs> you can't tie ropes for an hour now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, losing your mind. I got food dying. Jesus Christ. These guys are they're, they're, I'm getting buried by grill fry. I'm not getting any of their food. Everybody else's food is coming up. They're burying me. Grill fry's getting beaten, AJ. Bill, I need him to coordinate with me. I need a fish and chip to sell right now. I can't stress enough that AJ, he has 40 years plus experience. Of course, I throw him in the kitchen to help us out. I need two roasted chickens. Here's coconut shrimp. Where are they? Coconut shrimps. I don't need coconut shrimps. When AJ came back here to help. <laughs> Here's your full boy. Here you go. Full boy. What table numbers are you feeding me, AJ? Table 41. 41? AJ, I sold 41 like 45 minutes ago. OK, never mind. Fuck, man. You have to communicate. You have to communicate. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, better than that. Go ahead, get AJ up out of there, man. Go ahead, get him up out of there. It ain't, it's not working out. Go ahead, get him up out of there. What can he possibly do with this? Like, he could just be like a an ornament. Like, he, yeah, he's just here. Better than that. Collecting a check. I can't even see him behind the fucking line. Get a box from the stack. I can't see the short ass little fucker. Yeah, hold on. Unbelievable. 243 customers through the door so far. Alan's backed up in the kitchen. He's asked for help. AJ's gone in there and made it worse. If they're not careful, this place can fucking sink. Now I will see what's holding up those appetizers, okay? Thank you. Coconut shrimp, lead app. How long? You guys are killing me down there. You're bringing the whole kitchen to an end. We're gonna have to slow the seating down. I can't, these guys cannot keep up. I'm hearing, where's my fries? Where's my fish? And then I don't hear, it's up in one minute. I'm up in two minutes. I wasn't hearing nothing. So I was like, screw that. I need that fish taco. Send my motherfucker Hey, don't talk like that. Give me the food I asked for. I don't need your lift. You busy, I'm busy. Fuck you. Oh yeah, it's time to fire somebody. Let's get negative. Let's get negative. I don't want to hear no damn arguing back here. I hear people screaming at each other. The only person that should be giving orders back here is Aaron. On the, on, on the real, Aaron is the boss of the kitchen. Like, how you yelling at the boss? This your boss. Your, your livelihood is in his hands. Is that understood, everybody? Excuse me, did I hear an answer? Did I hear a yes? That's what you need right now. You guys are killing me down there. You're bringing the whole kitchen to an end. It's not gonna work with this staff. This staff, one, they're too young. The staff is too young. Let me tell you, man. When I, when I, every time I see a young staff in the kitchen, I get worried. All right, man. They young, man. It's gonna, man. What's going on? I need some, some people that this is their job. This is their career. It matters to them. You get what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter. Bro, look at bro. He been frying the same fish for 45 minutes this whole episode. This is all we've seen him do with the same. That's it. You don't care. With anarchy in the kitchen. The only person that should be giving orders back here is Aaron. Is that understood, everybody? The former silent partner decided it was time to speak up. Aaron a good chef, low key. He just don't got no help. I'd like to hear an answer. Yes, sir, sir. That's it. Fucking believable. Scott came back here and he showed that he gave it. Oh, God. <laughs> shit. Let's you know? get negative, Scott. Where before I'd never see Scott. And that actually helped me. Okay, let's go. I'm looking for a fish taco. Hey. Fish taco, thank you. Beautiful. That's nice looking food. Damn, that fish taco look. <laughs> My bad, I was overly excited. They do look like heat though. Like. With Aaron now finally controlling his kitchen, orders are getting to the customers a lot quicker. Yeah, there you go, Aaron. That's your job. You expedite. You go back there, you talk crazy, and get the kitchen staff on 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 the same level as the chef. All right, I almost have a smile on my face, guys. I'm almost smiling. I love it. 
mate. I'm loving the food, yeah? Keep it going. Yeah. Keep it going. Yes, nice. sir. And more importantly, you've got clarity with your fucking brigade. I agree. Salud. 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 Hey, and they're cheers. <laughs> As dinner winds down, thank you guys. There's a problem with the night's final order of onion rings. That look undercooked, way undercooked. Yeah. Chef Aaron clearly follows Gordon's advice and demands quality food and respect from his staff. Martini, what are you doing? Smoking a cigarette? Did you sell those things, those onion rings earlier so you could go do that? No. Go look at them. They're shit, man. All night onion rings have been beautiful. Look at them. T touch them. I was in the back going touch to the bathroom, em. man. Touch them. I'll drop them again right now. God damn that shit. It can't happen. Good. Last table of the night, and the food has to be just as good at the end of the night as it is in the beginning. Holding his staff accountable to no cap. <laughs> till the last minute, Aaron is finally acting like a head chef. Scott. Yes. Good job with what you did with the kitchen. Oh, thanks. Thank you. I feel my partners realize that you know what? I can be a benefit. You can just be in the kitchen. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah. This helped me redeem myself to my partners. I think that Gordon Ramsay saved my friendship, my partnership, and this business. I, for the first time in this restaurant, saw each and every one of the owners working their ass off. None of you were fragmented. It was together. We fixed the biggest problem in Jack's. I might drop this today. I don't got nothing else. <laughs> and that was the food. Now you know what it's like to maintain that. Tama, what's the most important thing you've got out of this week? I got a partner. <laughs> Seriously, the most important thing I got out of this week. Well, lovely compliment. And when I first met you, big boy, honestly, I thought your days were numbered. The rumors, the crap, and you've turned it around. We know. He did, 100%. Like, I, I didn't think he would do this well, but you know. He got the roid rage under control, and now he's really stepping into a role that I can see him thriving in. W speech. Oh, what we're doing if we put our minds together and we work together, we can fill this place. Absolutely right. There's only one thing. Excuse me? Tamar, I, Bill, we've yeah. all admitted that, you know, we kind of put ourselves out there. AJ never admitted to nothing. You know, a lot of this was his nah, fault. Real talk, real talk. Come on, AJ. What you gonna do, AJ? Solid point. That is a solid point. I never said I have no faults, and I did the best I can with all the hours I put. Let me talk for a second. On that exact point, you are here way too much to be effective. I know you think you're effective. We don't think you're effective at 80 hours a week. AJ, it would be the most generous thing you could do as a father for his son to step back, cutting back on the hours okay. and cutting back on the pay. Not a problem. Yeah. Not a problem. I hope Scott, Ben and Tanner will see that the hours I put here were needed to run the business. They're not. They probably will see it. Yes, Cat. Maybe on my deathbed, they'll confess it. But not before then. That's hard, that, with that. That yeah. was very hard. See, but it, 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 been agonizing over that conversation. It wasn't a personal thing at all. It was, it's needed for him, too. He can't be here that many hours. It's good for everybody. I can't yeah, wait, so, yes, so to get back, yes? You, we're bringing you to the gym when you come back. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Take care, Gordon. Oh, Thank you. Oh, dear. Good night, guys. Thank you for everything. Keep pumping, yes? Yes, sir. After Gordon left, in the days that followed, Bill, Scott, and Tamar gave Aaron the full authority to run the kitchen, the menu, and the staffing. Oh, yeah. The staffing, oh, yeah, we got to fire a few people. 100%. If you have anybody in here that has to go tonight, you can remove them tonight. Aaron immediately fired two cooks and yep. brought in... Yeah, Aaron. <laughs> oh, God, get out. That's the goal to I know he was getting out. Tonight. Look, he, he's dropping like, dang, it's me. I'm fired. <laughs> yeah, we'll tonight. Aaron immediately fired two cooks and brought in two experienced sous chefs. They don't know the way it was before, and there'll be a new standard set. And the partners realized, although it was right. difficult, they needed a new general manager to take over Jack's. And so they fired AJ. 
completely, as they should, man. He let it happen, and what is done, he did to that's himself. Right. You're right. I can't You're put right. it on me. You're right. Or no. you. It just sucks that it is, because that's your dad. But you got my support. Firing my dad is what I need for this place to survive. And he's going to back us up on what we need to do, just like any father would that loves their son. Man, just come in and drink. We're now moving in the right direction. We actually finally know what we're doing. I think it's awesome. We do three, four right. nights like this, it'll be a breeze back here. Thank you, Gordon. This was an experience of a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> the three of us as owners have never been as close. Wait, you think the buddy in the fryer got fired? The one with the, that took a cigarette break and. This is we are right now. Whoever got fired, it was needed. You get me? TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and go.